Before fiber and 5G, the digital world was known only to a few of us. We dialed up instead of swiping up, formatted floppies instead of streaming on social media. We built our virtual playgrounds one kilobyte at a time. These computers are simpler than modern computers. You can really put your head around them and start to understand how they work and you can program them. And To do that, you've, you've got to get down to the bare metal. You've got to get into the heads of the people that were working on it originally. What is it about these aging machines that keeps us coming back? For some of us, it's the thrill of teaching these old dogs new tricks. We developed the Aquarius Plus to solve all of those things that bug us. We added sprites, graphics, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all the things that you would want in a modern system. This one was gutted, so I put a, a Windows PC inside of it. I made it my teleconferencing system. I'm running a FPGA replacement fix because that gets me simultaneous HDMI out. For others, it's about preserving the past. We all take it for granted today because you can just go out and get gigs and gigs of memory. But this only has like essentially four kilobytes. But for most of us, it's about rekindling the optimism we had and finding the promise locked inside these silicon chips. It just never left me. So like with stuff that I was interested in when I was little, like I still find fascinating now. I didn't even know I was looking for this. Most people don't realize they're a maker, even though they are. Um, and so it's important to help them realize that. These machines were more than just circuits and code. They were dreams rendered in silicon. They promised a world of unlimited potential, a connected, intelligent, and democratized digital future. It, it had just a totally different spirit about it. You know, $500 computer versus a $2,500 computer, you know? When I got this, it had been uh, stored out in the rain. There was a mud line up to here, and then all the disk drives were rusted and seized, and the circuit board, all the sockets had like corroded. So it took me about a year to get this thing going for an immensely boring little machine. But somewhere along the way, things changed. Our computers became devices, locked boxes. But hackers, hobbyists, and dreamers never disappeared. But everything is really understandable. There's nothing virtualized, nothing hidden. You can actually really understand how the whole system works. I figured, yeah, what's the point of uh, making an NES game if you can't play it on a real NES? We didn't just dust off old machines. We rekindled ideas, revisiting the ambition and wild experimentation that fueled the microcomputing revolution. Uh, even today, 40 years later, you can still do the very same thing with the Apple II. You can make it do what you want. So that's been fun for me to sort of discover a new computer I didn't know anything about. Uh, I now wish I had one as a kid. It was never just about the machines. It was about who they let us become. Whether you're eight or you're 80, everybody's learning something new. At VCF SoCal, we celebrated yesterday's future and then asked ourselves, what comes next?